Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's your boy Jay Stein coming from you from a beautiful, brisk Houston, Texas. Still got my coffee going. We're rolling like that today. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So earnings yesterday, ones that mattered. Um, I had mentioned Nike in the morning. I didn't think they were going to do good. They didn't do good. And here's why. Uh, they can blame it on whatever they want to blame it on on their conference call, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Their product sucks, okay? If I'm going to buy a pair of running shoes, I'm not going to buy Nike, okay? The last running shoes that I had that were Nikes fell apart after about a 100 miles worth of running versus my Asics, which I buy the cheap Asics, and I can get hundreds of miles off of those. And if I get the expensive Asics, which I've had, I ran like hundreds and hundreds of miles on those things for like a long time. And actually what screwed them up was I left them outside and it rained and that's what screwed them up ultimately, but that's on me. Anyway, I still run with ASICs, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then FedEx, they did beat, um, as I had forecasted, uh, you know, the whole COVID, uh, they're moving it around in the air and then they're moving all the stuff around on the ground and all their numbers are up, you know, nobody wants to leave the house, everybody's scared, so everybody's delivering everything, including me. But it's not because I'm scared. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I just don't want to leave the house. You mean I can order a pack of batteries and some candles, you know, just in case of an emergency and they'll bring it to my door? What? Yes. I am all about Amazon Prime, FedEx, and USPS and all the rest. Love them. Um, anyways, uh, you know, and then this is just kind of off topic, not earnings, but AstraZeneca God, I've, I've, they've been a topic of late for me for a number of reasons, but apparently now they're starting to put warning labels on their uh, their vaccine uh, things, the syringe like tubes, uh, saying like, "Hey, this product may kill you." So, like, have you ever seen a, a pack of cigarettes? Now they have like a warning on them saying, "Hey, if you use this product, it might kill you." On AstraZeneca uh, vaccine uh, tubes, yeah, it's like that. In certain countries, they're doing that. So um, uh, Uncle Biden, he uh, actually ordered a bunch of them and uh, is going to donate them to Mexico. So I don't, I don't really know what that means, you know, but uh, it seems kind of like you, you, you couldn't get the Moderna for them, you know, get the Johnson and Johnson, you know, one of the, the ones that uh, aren't necessarily killing people as quickly, you know, Uncle Joe. Anyways, all right, let's get into the good stuff here, guys. Um, interest rates have stabilized thus far. They're right at around 1.7. Actually, a minute ago, they were in the 1.6 range. Fantastic. Keep it in there. I'll be happy. Next up, the VIX. The VIX is down, which is good, given that the rates have come down as well. The VIX is down like, well, I don't know, like almost 2%, which is good. Right at around 20 is where I like to see it. It's at like 21, which is fine. Um, crude oil is definitely still down, down over a percent as of right now. That's an issue. Um, we need to see that come back up over 60. We have to. Um, otherwise... It's going to have cascading effects on the overall market. Um, the dollar is up, but not by much, but it is up, um, which is to be expected. Um, you know, there's no real earnings of note today. Um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin hitting that 60,000 mark again, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, Bitcoin. We get paid. No real indexes to, to drop today, but now notice stock to watch. Oracle just had a major gap down, and guess what? Their CEO sold a bunch of their shares. I mean, a lot, like a lot, a lot. So I'm wondering what the heck is going on there. I haven't really dug into it very much um, other than I just kind of looked at that headline and was like, what? So anyways, I'm going to keep my eye on Oracle. Um, again, today, like I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to be very skeptical on buying anything just because of the way yesterday set up. Today is going to be a really shaky day. Um, any bit of news is going to send it up or down, and I'm more concerned with some news coming out that's going to send it down. Um, you know, which which could be good because it could give us a setup for a nice bounce on Monday, 
and have a nice run up uh, through next week. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And uh, in terms of breaking news, tune in for breaking news, Jay Sign. No, but seriously, if anything does happen, I'll post videos. You already know how I do it. Much love. I appreciate you tuning in. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I always ask that. And, and when you do, it really does make me feel better. I saw somebody else subscribe yesterday, and I was just like, aw, thank you. I appreciate that. Anyways, guys, happy trading. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.